Now to the ongoing coronavirus across Mississippi. The latest numbers show that over 47,000 Mississippians have been infected with COVID-19. This after another day with over 1,000 daily cases. And according to these numbers, the state is now fourth in total cases per 100,000 people. For more on the governor's response to COVID-19 pandemic, we turn things over to 12 News' senior political correspondent, Gerald Harris. Gerald. Yes, seven Mississippi hospitals have no ICU beds available. Cases are spiking more than 1,600 yesterday, more than 1,500 today. Those new cases could mean hundreds more infections, hospitalizations in the coming weeks, more stress on an already overloaded hospital system. In the Jackson West Central area of the 272 ICU beds, just two are available. It's pushing the health care system from standard practice of care to possibly crisis care. This is a unique point in history, and we need to have at least one small bit of composure and discipline so that we don't get in just a big mess. And, and it, it just astounds me that, that the same conversation is like we just up. But at some point, people are going to start freaking out again. Back in March, there was panic. It was unrealistic panic. And people wanted to, you know, basically lock up in their houses. And then everybody wanted to go party at the beach. Um, I don't know what the mass psychology is going to be like when we decide that everybody wants to panic again. But now, let's just behave sensibly and we won't have to panic. 40% of ICU patients in Mississippi have coronavirus, up 10% from 30% a week ago. Dr. Dobbs warned with Texas, Louisiana, and Florida grabbing the bulk of federal resources. The crisis care, hard decisions will be made. Determinations of who lives and who dies could also be made. And while Governor Tate Reeves says he doesn't want to shut anything down, if this continues to spiral out of control, he may be forced to do so, advocating mask wearing and also socially distancing to prevent the spread. Reporting in downtown Jackson, Gerald Harris, 12 News.